Are we making a video out of this? I guess so. Okay. Is that one hot? No. Alright, well, we're gonna go with a 20. Yeah. You gotta work on the engine. You breaking them man wheels, Lee. You just gotta, like, like. Oh, that's cool. Ranch. <laughs> Oh yeah, he even smells bad. Yeah, something's going on. Your brakes are hanging up, I think. I think that's our problem. When your brakes are hanging up, you get that near bad smell. <laughs> wow, even these lug nuts are freaking sweltering. Yeah, so this is how you remove a pointy one. Oh, oh that's hot. They're not supposed to be hot. <laughs> okay, let's let that move on. Wow. All right, so you see how this rotor is red? Oh yeah. It has like a reddish tinge to it. That's not good. Didn't you say that they put all new brakes on here? Yeah. Look how more. thin that is now. Oh yeah. See that? Mm -hmm. Now I bet you, if you look at the other side, it would be a lot thicker than that. So this caliper is sticky. It's not coming and it's, back out. It's not coming back out. Mm -hmm. New pads, a new rotor, new bearings. You could have it done in a couple hours. This is gonna be expensive. <laughs> but it's definitely a lot thicker than the other side. Mm -hmm. Maybe you get a red rotor, and you see how it's like silver? It looks like it's like polished, almost yeah. like it's shiny. Mm -hmm. And then this other side, not as shiny. Yeah. Like it doesn't like glare back into the light. We're gonna go and test to confirm our suspicions that that side has a locked up brake valve. You will note, the passenger side spins very easy. Not a lot of resistance, it just keeps going, going, going. This side, which we think has a locked up caliper, not so much. It's so pitiful. <laughs> it doesn't want to move. A Lego wheel spins better. So we're going to have to replace the caliper and the hose. My John Hancock. Very nice. Looks like those are nickels, but money. Okay. It doesn't really say. Well, it'll make it very easy to kick the foul. I don't see it. Pontiac insists that it's written on the nut. What's it say, Dad? Nine. Aw, made in China. Uh oh. Oh, unacceptable. Send them, them back. Bearings. Send them back. Maybe I'm not doing this right. There we go. That's better. You just murdered someone else. What ah. gloves? Ew, nasty, sticky. You will note the red color, this rotor, and the lack of thickness to it compared to the new rotor. Junk. All I can say is I did this once on the Firebird. Those wheels haven't fallen off yet. Ooh, that rotor looks nice. Yeah, let me just put the wrench in the grease. Now comes the fun part. We have to detach this hose from that there brake line. And if that there brake line does not want to let go of the hose, this ain't happening. Really. Not, not good stuff. <laughs> you gotta knock this on without denting it. Just in case, this one's greasy. Carbon fiber rubber mount. Well, Eric, we have two up. I can mean, continue to try and get this brake line off. Or we can replace just the caliper and see if that works. Well, I don't want to go and ruin another rotor. Continue then? Yeah, I'd say. I, I don't want to do it wrong and then have to buy all the parts again.
Because it's like crimped onto the hose itself. I see. No dice. Okay. Well, then our only alternative is to drill that out and tap a screw for this one. Ow! Is that supposed to happen? Oh, it's still hot. Hmm. Got the hose off. Yeah, look at that. It just blew up. Let's get a new one on here. Well, at least we know we got good brake flow to the to this Melani. His name is John. That shiny new bird find. People finally get to see you in your element on YouTube now. <laughs> Actually working on cars? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it must be fun because it's leaking everywhere. Excellent. That means the hose is hollow. All right. New caliper. Mm. Warning. Do not over tighten thread, banjo, bolt, or bleeder. This is our old caliper here. You can see this one is stained black from all of the rotor I was slowly destroying. Oh, <laughs> uh, you know what it is? It's because this nut can't spin because it's so rusted. Oh, uh, normally you would rotate that. Normally you'd be able to rotate that. Mm. We can at least get the new caliper on. I got a set of two brake pads. Oh. <laughs> where'd the other brake pad go? Eric, where'd the other brake pad go? See it. What the heck? I literally brought it over. No, I didn't remember you grabbing it. The hose is basically 180 from what it's supposed to be because I can't move. This is supposed to rotate, but it's frozen because it's rusted. Mm. So the hose would have to go like this essentially. And that's, I don't want to kink it. So I don't know what we're going to do. All right. Well, you can put that back in your box. Yep. So you can send that. Oh, watch, watch, watch. Oh look, it looks like this was twisted. I am in. Alright. Uh pump up the brake pedal, please. Yeah. Oh, not that hard. Alright, and when I tell you push it to the floor, ready? Okay. One, two, three. Just keep pumping it up, down, up, yeah. down, up, down. All right, hold up. Go down. All right, let's keep pumping. How does the brake pedal feel? Does it feel normal? Yeah, it feels normal now. Feels normal? All right. All right, come off the brake. Off the brake. On the brake? On the brake. All right. I think we're good. All the cap, all the rotor dust yeah, and stuff. Yeah. Because it was just eating away at it. Jeez, you gotta figure out if you can clean that out yeah. before you put it back on, maybe. I get all my stuff. I've got just a Local mechanics corner. Do we have the uh, ready? Everybody clear? Mm-hmm. Clear your hand. Fiero is the coolest car you can buy for under ten thousand dollars. 
Even though I it was my barber for under ten thousand dollars. And the Firo is cooler. Yeah. I never have enough room. Greasy attempting to take off lug nuts. There you go. You want to get some leverage on it? Oh my goodness! What? A little bit of leverage. <laughs> you've you've let everyone down. You gotta loosen it. Like, what? It's not that hard. In there, I'll do it. Mm -hmm. Come on. Ready? Oh. She's lifting the fear. This I can do. How high do I lift it? Uh, tell the wheels off the ground. This is very entertaining. <laughs> months so much so that i bought a snap-on one. Oh, this is the most usable tool <laughs> in the automotive world awesome literally we can do just a small video on like this tool you need a prying tool bam you need to get a push pin out bam you need to break a zip tie bam it can do everything <laughs> i love this little thing